that was the subject of an I-Team investigation is officially closed. The owner of Beacon Paws pled guilty to a charge of animal cruelty today. An I-Team investigation found four dogs died at the kennel. Two others were injured. Consumer investigative reporter Cassidy Williams has been following this case for months. She explains why the dog's family says this is just the first step in their fight for justice. Um, but at the end of the day, what we really want, we will never have again. Artie will never be here again. It's a bittersweet day for the family of Artie. In January, Artie died at the Beacon Paws Kennel. Court records say Artie was attacked by another dog and then was left alone, bleeding in the kennel for 36 hours before he was found dead. George Meter owned the kennel. Thursday, Meter stood mostly behind his attorney as he took responsibility for his role in Artie's death. I'm sorry and apologize for the reasons that everyone had to come here. Meter pled guilty to a misdemeanor charge of animal cruelty. As part of the plea deal, Meter will not get any any jail time or pay any fines. But he did send two letters to the state. In one, he surrendered his licenses for the business. In the other, he agreed to never again apply for a license. My client is a good person. He never intended for harm to come to any animal or for pain to come to any family. He suffered a tremendous price as a result of this. He has now closed his business and has moved on with his life. And I think all in all, it's a fair resolution. The business is now closed. All signage on the Beacon Falls building gone. It's what Artie's family had been fighting for. Yeah, we, we, definitely, uh, we definitely got justice for Artie today. No other animals will be ever hurt again. But they still have questions over why the business wasn't closed before Artie's death. An I-Team investigation found since the kennel opened in 2012, four dogs died and two were injured at the kennel. The state had previously given the business two warnings for animal cruelty. We're just getting started. Artie's family is now moving their focus to making changes at the state level. They want stronger oversight of kennels and more protections for animals. I think the state needs to do their job better. Laws need to change. Laws, laws need to change. Meter was initially charged with a second count of animal cruelty related to a different dog's injuries. That charge was dropped as part of the plea deal. Reporting in Derby, Cassidy Williams, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.